What's up, you sick mother bluffers? I'm headed to Deuces to play the $40 buy-in tournament. Started at 8, it's 9.30, so I'm gonna be buying in for maybe like 10 big blinds if I'm lucky, which is absolutely stupid. But yeah, I'm just gonna try to run it up, see how it goes, and uh, if we bust, then we'll just play some cash. So I'll see you inside. It doesn't take long for me to get involved in a pot. This is my second hand at the table. Three players land before the cutoff jams for 4,800, 12 big blinds. Folds to me in the small blind and I look down at pocket eights. I have a deeper stack than I anticipated, even though I registered super late. I'm sitting on 24 big blinds. I know the player in the cutoff is capable of jamming all types of hands against which I'll be flipping or sometimes even be ahead of, so I isolate them and 3 bet shove for 9600 total. The player in under the gun, who initially limped, decides that if their hand was good enough for 400, it's good enough for the entire stack of just over 6500. Rest of the table folds, so we're going three ways to a run out. I've got both players covered, so I'm not at risk. Big blind shows ace 10 off suit and the cutoff queen 10 off suit. With both players holding a 10, I have one less over card to dodge, which is great news. Flop comes king six deuce two clubs, turn is a jack, giving both of my opponents outs to make a straight. I need to dodge an ace, queen, 10 or a nine to hold and take this pot down. The river is a three. I double up my stack on my first hand. Great start to the tournament. Couple of orbits later, there's a limb from under the gun and action folds to me in the hijack. I look down at ace jack off suit and raise it up to 1500. The big blind and under the gun limper make the call. We go three ways to a flop of eight ace king two clubs. Action checks to me. I continue for 3200 and both opponents fold. An orbit later, action folds to the cutoff who jams for just over 10 big blinds and I look down at ace-queen suited on the button. I 3-bet shove for 25,000 and the blinds fold. I'm going heads up against ace knight off suit. Flop comes 10-10-6, turn is a 7, opening up a gut shot straight draw for my opponent. The river is an ace. My queen kicker is going to play and I pick up a very nice pot. Smooth sailing so far, the very next hand I pick up king nine suited in the cutoff. Action folds to me and I open for 2000. The button, small blind, and big blind make the call, so we're going four ways to a flop of jack, king, ten, two diamonds, and one spade. Small blind decides to lead for 5000. With top air and sub backdoor straight and flush draws, I'm going to make the call, and the button gets out of the way. Heads up to the turn which comes another king, kind of an annoying card because if I was behind on the flop, I'm still behind, but now I've got trips and it's going to be hard to fold this hand, especially when they bet 8,000. I make the call, and the river is a brick looking seven of spades. They fire another small bet of 10,000. I have no information on this player, and although I'm pretty sure I'm beat, sometimes you'll see players fire out small bets when their draws break out, but they're afraid of committing too much of their stack. I think I have to make the call for that price. If I'm wrong, I still have around 10 bigs, so I sigh and put in the call. They don't snap turn their cards over, so I think I might have made the right call. But no, they show King Jack for a flop two pair that turned a boat. Great bets for my opponent, they get max value from me, and I am now back to starting stack. On the very next shuffle, I get dealt pocket nines and action folds to me. I open jam for 12 bigs, and everybody folds. The very next hand, this is the fourth hand in a row I'm entering the pot with. I look down at ace queen from under the gun. I open jam for just over 13 bigs. Action folds over to the big blind who snap calls and they cover. Did I just run into a cooler? No, the big blind decided to look me up with king knight off suit. Not gonna lie, if I bust on this one, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. We go heads up to a run out of jack queen seven rainbow. A nine won't help my opponent anymore, but a 10 would give them a straight. The turn is a nace, giving me two pair. I only need to dodge a 10 now and the river is a five and I get a full double up. Things slow down a little bit as this is not the very next hand but the one after that. <laughs> Under gun limps and action folds to me in the small blind where I look down at pocket aces. I race to 3000, the big blind folds and the undergun limper makes the call. We go heads up to a flop of 10 5 3 rainbow. I don't often slow play but I like to mix in a check from time to time. This super dry board seems like a good spot for it so I check. Sadly my opponent does not take the bait as they snap check back. The turn comes to 8 of hearts, which does open up some straight and flush draws. I bet 4,000 and under the gun calls, saying they have to see the last card. I like hearing that because that tells me I'm ahead, but really, it's a lose-lose scenario for me as if the river is a brick, I'm not going to get any more value from my opponent, and if a draw completes, I might actually lose this pot. Anyway, the river comes to 9 of spades, which does complete some straight draws. 
I'm not really sure what to do here with aces. I think the best move is probably to bet on the smaller side and be prepared to fold to a raise. So I announce 5,000 and my opponent folds before I can even put the bet out. Always sucks to pick up a small pot with aces, but I'll take that over losing a big one. An orbit later, there's a limp from under the gun, the cutoff calls, button folds, and I look down to ace-10 suited from the small blind. I decide to raise to 4,000 and both limpers make the call. We go three ways to a flop of 8, king, 6, rainbow, pretty safe flop for me. I could probably bet and try to rep ace, king, king, queen, but I also don't want to blow up this pot in a game where players tend to be pretty sticky, so I check and both opponents check back. The turn brings a queen and a second spade. I don't really love the play, but having picked up a gut shot, I do want to take a stab at picking up this decent sized pot. My sizing is horrible though, I bet 4,000. It's enough to get under the gun to fold, but the cutoff is going to stick around for their last 1,000. I hate having to show this hand as I really hate the way I played it, but the cutoff shows 5-7 of hearts for an open-ended straight draw, so I'm actually ahead with ace high. We're going heads up to the river, which comes the ace of hearts, and I sheepishly drag the pot towards me. With this pot, my stack is now back over what it was before the trip king's hand. The very next shuffle action folds to the low jack who limps before I look down at ace king on the button. I bump it up to 7,000, action folds back around to the low jack who three bets all in for just over 15,000 around seven big blinds. I snap call and the low jack shows pocket sevens. We're going heads up to a run out of 10, five, four rainbow. Turn is a seven, give my opponent the win. I'm drawing completely dead. I lose this flip, but I've still got over 10 bigs to play with. Two hands later, action folds to middle position who opens to 4600, folds to me in the cutoff, and I look down at ace queen off suit. I three bet jam for just under 25,000 before the button, one of the tightest players at the table, quickly calls for just over 10,000. Action folds back to the original razor who folds, so I'm going heads up against the button and they show pocket tens. It's another flip, let's see if I can win this one. The flop comes 395. Turn is a deuce, giving me some extra outs to a straight. The river is a seven, and I once again lose. After peaking a few minutes earlier, my stack is back down to around seven big blinds. Gotta love the swings, it's back to push or fold for me. I don't find a spot to shove for the next couple of orbits, I'm down to around three big blinds. So when action folds to me in the cutoff and I look down at king nine, I gotta go for it. I shove, button folds before the small blind, who covers me, reshoves on top. Big blind folds, so we're going heads up to a run out. I'm up against ace jack. At least I'm not dominated. I'll take it. Ten. Very fortunate to take this one down. I survive, and I now have eight big blinds. Two hands later, I look down at pocket five from under the gun. I open shove for 24,000. My opponent from the previous hand wants another shot at taking me down. They make the call. The rest of the table folds and they have me dominated this time as they show pocket eights. They got both my suits covered too, so there will be no miracle flushes for me. Let's go to a run out. The flop comes deuce 410 rainbow. The turn comes a six, giving me extra outs. I can win with the river three or five and the river is a three. Oh my God. I hit runner runner for a major suck out. My opponent is not too pleased as they show me not one, but two middle fingers. Not sure what to do with the second one. What a disgusting run out. I take down the pot and my stack now reaches a new peak as we inch closer to the final table. An orbit or so later, I looked down at pocket sevens from under the gun. Blinds are going up and with 12 bigs in my stack, I'm going to open shove. The same opponent from the two previous hands makes the call for less. Rest of the table folds. So once again, going heads up to a run out against this player and they show ace nine of clubs. The flop comes a clean looking six deuce four. The turn is a three. They do pick up a gut shot, but it wouldn't be any good as it would give me a higher straight. And wouldn't you know it, as one last fuck you, the poker gods put a five on the river. My opponent makes their straight, but it's no good. What a rough end to the tournament for them. From being one of the chip leaders to busto in three hands against me where they were either massively ahead or flipping at worst. This is tournament poker at its most brutal. I'm not sorry for taking their chips, but I do empathize as a poker player. If things keep going this way for me, I've got a good chance of taking this one down. Let's go. What a roller coaster tournament so far. Doubling up on my first hand and running up a stack, punting most of it on that Trip King's hand, running it back to a new peak only to lose two huge flips and being short stacked, and then getting incredibly lucky against the same opponent to hit a new peak. After that, things slowed down a little bit for me. We're now at the final table. 
and with blinds going around a couple of times, I have around 8 bigs in my stack when this hand happens. Action fools to the low jack, who tanks, then limps, which I find odd, but when I look down at pocket 8s in the cutoff, I don't really have any other option but to shove. Action fools to the short stack small blind, who decides to stick their last 2 big blinds or so in the middle, before the low jack snippity snaps with pocket aces. Oh, you lied to me. You lied to me. I am absolutely gutted. After going through so many ups and downs, I fall for the oldest trick in the book, and I'm about to be left with one big blind, three spots away from the money. We're going three ways to the flop, which comes eight, five, oh, yeah. jack. You can say that again. Oh, yeah. I find the two outer to suck out on my opponent, and I am now on the brink of winning this massive pot and taking the ch no! 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 In the very next hand, action folds to me. I open shove, jack nine off suit for less than the small blind. Action folds to the small blind who completes. Big blind checks their option. They check down a board of 10, 10, 2, 3, 6. And the big blind is going to take it down with a pair of sixes. And I am out three away from the money. What a sick tournament run this was. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to click the thumbs up button, drop me a comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, good luck at the tables, and I'll catch you in the next one.